Hello. So today we're going to try to show you, I don't know if it's the right way, but it's the way I came up with, with uh, in VR detecting which controller is on the left and which controller is on the right and swapping them if necessary. Um, that way people don't have to go, oh, I got to swap my controllers. Anywho, so here we go. Yeah. Uh, what we do is first you open up Unreal and uh, then you click launch. And then when this window comes up, you go ahead and select virtual reality and then you type in the name you want whatever it happens to be and then it will launch you into this map and so then we jump on over to the motion controller map which is what we're going to be testing left and right with and we say play vr preview so there we are uh, one hand's on one side one hand's on the other but we want to mix them up and we want to make it so it can detect and fix them. Um, so, how do we do that? Uh, you'll have to excuse me if I look over there because that's where all my notes are. Uh, so first we start out by jumping into the blueprints for the motion controller, the actual controller itself, and give it the ability to swap left and right as necessary. So that is, um, oh yeah, so go into virtual reality, blueprints, and then BP motion controller and double click on that. And then up here at the top of all these blueprints is this little section where it says to swap, uh, invert the mesh if you are on the left and right hand. Now um, we have to modify this a little bit just to make it work for both. So first off we want to give it the ability to switch also to the right hand. So um, real quick we make sure we're still recording. Okay, cool. All right, so now you copy this one actually just that guy and we paste it down here and then we select the hand mesh and we plug it in here and we set this to one now the reason we're doing this is right now it's set up so that if the hand is the left hand then go ahead and set the scale to negative one so swapping it to be over here but we also want to give it the ability to do it the other way around in case you're the left and you want to go back to the right so that's why we put the scale back to just ones and that's if it's you know if the hand is right so then we're gonna um, also um, create a custom event we're gonna call this hand swap so this now plugs into here and so at any time we want um, from anywhere else we can get a reference to this motion controller and call hand swap and it'll check to see which hand it's currently called and then it will swap them to their according necessary sides. So now comes the part where the, uh, let's see, where'd you go? Do, do, do. Um, I'm going to put it in motion controller pawn, the main check, but that's just cause that's where I like to put the controls. You can put it wherever you want. This is where I'm going to build the function. Now here, Oh yeah, so inside of Virtual Reality Blueprints Motion Controller Pawn, you double click on that. Now inside the Motion Controller Pawn in the VR template, right here, um, uh, spawn and attach both motion, motion controllers. That is where this is, where it selects and sets up the motion controllers for the left and right controller. So right over here to the right of it, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'll just give us a keyboard shortcut to do this. So I'll say keyboard, keyboard, if I can spell keyboard, and I'll say B, letter E, because why not? Um, now, let me go over here to my notes and get the, the actual um, thingamathing. Sorry, one moment. There we go. All right, so... Now, first off, what we want to do, since in order to uh, be able to tell which one is on the left and the right, we need something to measure from. It can be, it just needs to be a relationship to where the camera is. So we add a scene component and we'll call it a scene. So it's just a nothing, this little holder, locate locator basically. Um, and we'll call this left side from camera. And then we take it and we just scoot it out that way there. Now it's left of the camera and it's underneath the camera. So wherever the camera moves, it's going to move and it will always be over there. It's basically getting a left pole vector. Um, so uh, now what we want to do 
is we want to first uh, get all actors of class. And the ones we want to get are the uh, do 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 do. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, la la la. Uh, no, that, sorry. I'm I'm wor working out of order here. First, we want to create some variables. Yes. Okay. So uh, right now we have left controller and right controller, but we're gonna want to swap them. So we got to make temp placeholders for them. So we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate one of these, and we'll call it right controller temp, right? And same with the left controller. And we'll call it left controller temp. So now, in order to measure the distance to see which one is closer to that left thing, what we, the, the thing on the left of the camera, what we want to do is first get uh, the left side from camera, and we'll even call it locator, so it makes more sense, locator. All right, so now we want to get world location. So that gets where it is out in space. And then we also want to get the left controller. And we'll go ahead and use something in the, because you have to use a component to do what we're gonna do. So we'll use the grab sphere, since the grab sphere is always gonna be right in the middle of the controller, or where it grabs. Um, yeah, that's its name. So we're gonna say grab, uh, uh, what is it? Get grab sphere. That'll be down at the bottom. Doop -doop, like that. And then we want to get its world location. Uh, get world location. Yes, yes, there we are. All right. So now we want to do the simplest of vector math and say a vector minus a vector. And then we want to say vector length. So what that's doing is it's getting where each of those things are in space from each other and then getting the length. And that's if I understand my math correctly. <laughs> but anyways, it's vector length here to here. How far is it? How long is that? Um, yes. So now that we know how far the left controller is from that left locator, now we want to do the same for right. So we can just copy and paste this right below, except for we want to do it with the right controller. So now we know how far it is from the right controller to that left side locator. So now we want to see, is the left side locator less distance uh, than the right one? So is the left locator as it should be, where it is, its distance to that locator is less than the distance from the right controller to that locator. So now we give ourselves a little branch. Doop-a-doop-a-doo. -doo. We'll plug that in. So if it's true, everything is as it should be. And we'll say print string. And we'll say hooray. Everything is shiny. I know that's not how you spell shiny, but it's how I like to spell it. So, mm. um, <laughs> so now um, we go over to, and we'll just paste the message in here. And we'll say, Ooh, everything is not as it seems. Ooh. Um, so that, you know, true, hooray, the left is good, boo, nah, we need to swap them. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our controllers into temp holders so that we can then swap them. So what we do is we take the left controller, you say get it, and the left temp controller, and you say set it. And you plug it in like so. And then we do the same for the right controller. We get the right controller and get the whoop, get the right controller temp and set it. So what we have are references to our controllers temporary held in these variables so that we can swap things around without losing track of them. Now, next up, I don't know if this part is entirely necessary, but if I put it in for my sanity, so I'm dragging out the left and right controllers and setting them to nothing. So that way, now they're emptied out. Now, next up, we take the, 
we're going to swap them. So we say left controller temp, get it, and right controller temp, get that, and then say left controller, set it, and right controller, set it. And this is where we do the actual swapping. So now with those plugged in like that, so first we check to see which one is closer. If the right one is closer to the left locator, then things need to be switched. So first we take the controllers and we put them into temporary placeholders. Then we empty the original variables out. Then we swap them by saying the left controller temp holder, whoops, derp derp, sorry. There we go, that's actually swapping them. Right controller temp now is equal to left controller and left controller temp is now equal to right controller. So now there's one last thing to do, which is switch their internal variables. Or no, there's one more thing. So we get the left controller and get the right controller. And we say set hand, which is the variable stored inside the motion controller right about here as to whether it is the left or the right controller. So we set the left controller's hand to right, and we set, whoops, mm, no, no, yeah, set the left controller's hand to the left, and set hand, there we go, yeah, set the right controller's hand to right, because these were actually the controllers that were once were the opposite ones, so left controller gets set to left, and right controller gets sent to right, since now they are in their appropriate variables. So this being all set up, um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. yes, once that's all set up, then what we need to do at that point is say, get all actors of class. And what we're looking for is the, um, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for the BP motion controllers. Yeah, right there. There you go. And it's an array. It'll be two of them, the left and right ones. So you want to say for each. And on each of these, what we'll do is we'll get it and we'll say swap, hand swap. So it'll jump over to the motion controller. It'll say hand swap. Okay, hand, which one do I belong to? Set my scale to that. Now, we plug that in there. So, this takes care of all the swapping, and then this takes care of the actual execution of setting their scale internally. So, and we have this all bound to our E key. So now if we hit play, they're backwards, and if we're lucky, boom, they're now correct. And they still function as intended. So that is how you can swap them. I'll run through it one more time real quick. Um, in the motion controller, we have the hand swap. Uh, we added this extra thing onto it that can also take care of right. And then when we hit the letter E, we check the distance and to see which controller is closer to a, a locator on the left of the camera. If everything's right, we do nothing. If everything's wrong, we first place the pointers or variable holders, whatever, to the controllers into a temporary holding space. Then we empty out the originals, then we swap the originals with the temporary holders, and then we set them so that now the one that's called left controller has make sure that it's also hand variable is set to left and same with the right. And then we go ahead and call that hand swap on each of the controllers and they swap and that way no matter what controller a person has in their hand when they start up the game, they don't have to fuddle, you know? So anyways, yeah. Hope that was um, super duper, it's probably not super duper helpful. <laughs> There's probably a way better way to do this. There's probably even a command built into Unreal that I don't know about that just says detect and swap hands. But um, <clears throat> in any event, <laughs> that, that probably exists and I just don't know about it. But hopefully that was helpful to some of y'all. Um, and where's where's my thing? There it is. Um, so yeah, hope uh, everybody has a happy Monday. Um, uh, 
yeah, I'll be doing a post on the uh, the, the game probably tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, hope all is well. Yeah, hopefully that was helpful to some of y'all. And um, all the follows do mean a lot, and all the kind comments uh, do mean incredibly a lot to keep me going on the on the many, many long hour shifts that we're doing. So, yeah, again, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, excuse my blathering, and I will catch y'all next time. All right. Bye.